Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Revlon Lip Butters. Um, I know a lot of people love these and they are ridiculously hyped up, but I personally cannot stand them. So I wanted to do a review for you and I wanted to do a lot more reviews in the future. So if you have anything you want me to review, let me know. So here it is. I have it in Strawberry Shortcake. And yeah, here's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. This was in my um, overhyped products video and it definitely is very, very overhyped. Um, my best friend actually told me, don't buy it, it's horrible, it's gross, and I'm just like, whatever, you don't know. So I bought it and I was like, ew, it's really, really nasty. The color is actually gorgeous. Let me show you what it looks like. This is one swipe and then this is a couple of different ones, you know what I mean? See how it's like kind of shiny too? So it's kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. And yeah, it's really, really nasty. When they say lip butter, they're not kidding. Like it feels like you're taking a knife with butter and you're buttering your lips. Like it's so like oily and greasy feeling and just nasty and I hate it. Also, if your lips are not perfectly exfoliated, it's just gross. It shows you every single like flaw in your lip and it's just disgusting and I really really don't like it um, it's just not worth the money I mean if it was maybe like two dollars fine for like every once in a while but they just feel so so nasty on the lips they're gross I just I can't get over how gross they feel I always feel like I need to wipe my mouth <laughs> every time I have it on because I feel like I have like food in my mouth but it's just this and the staying power sucks they really don't stay on that long at all um, it's just bad I just don't like these. Um, they're just gross. <laughs> they're not good. They don't look good. They don't feel good. Bad product. So yeah, um, that's basically all I can say. Just short, sweet, to the point. They're nasty. They're gross. I don't like them. Um, if you do, then congratulations. I'm glad that they work well for you, but I will not be purchasing any more of these in the future. <sighs> Which sucks because this is such a pretty color. I was really hoping I'd like it more than I did, but that's it. Very, very short, sweet, to the point. Um, hope this was helpful to somebody who wanted to try these out. Um, yeah, I'll put the link below to my full review on my blog. Um, in that post, everybody was just like, I've never heard a negative review on these before, but every product has a dark side. As much as I hate saying that, it is true. Even products that I love, they have dark sides. Everything does. So, it might work for you, it might not. If you know somebody who has one, try theirs before you buy one because they're really not worth the money at all. They're very expensive. I think this was like 6 or $7. To me, that's very expensive for a drugstore lipstick. Because I'll pay like $10 plus for a high-end one, but whatever. So anyway, here they are. The packaging's kind of cute, though. I don't know. So yeah, the full review will be down there. Hope this was helpful. Bye, guys.